A big announcement from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The agency authorized two updated boosters, one from Pfizer and one from Moderna, which will specifically target the latest strain of COVID-19. So let's verify what makes these boosters different from the old versions. Our sources are two FDA administrators, Commissioner Dr. Robert Califf and Dr. Peter Marks, as well as infectious disease doctor Dr. Amish Adalja and Dr. William Schaffner. The big difference is that these boosters are what's called bivalent vaccines. What it means is that they actually target two things. Part of the vaccines are going to target the original ancestral strain. The other aspect of the, the new boosters is going to be that they also target the Omicron variant. This is very similar to what we do with our influenza vaccine, which has four components, and we update that each year. Our experts tell us authorization was granted even without wide-scale human trials, but our FDA experts say, nonetheless, they know it's safe because of the millions who have received a similar mRNA vaccine already, and they're confident it will be more effective based on both animal trials and some small studies in people for similar bivalent vaccines. They've uh, shown that they produce very good immune responses in humans, and they were safe, granted in a small, uh, a small number of individuals relatively, but uh, in aggregate now, um, uh, in enough people to feel comfortable. I'm turning 71 next month. I will be at the front of the line at the pharmacy. If given final approval by the CDC, the Moderna booster will be available for people 18 and older, and the Pfizer booster would be for people 12 years and up. Now, people are eligible for these boosters two months after completing their initial vaccination or last booster shot. A CDC advisory committee will be debating this evidence on Thursday and is expected to vote this week. With your Verify, I'm Lorenzo Hall.